Hello developers. In today's session, we're going to learn how to install Visual Studio Code, a very popular code editor open source by Microsoft and is being used by millions of developers out there. In the last session, we already learned how to install Python. So why wait? Let's head over to it. Launch your default Chrome or Microsoft Edge, whichever is favorite to you. So let me launch my Microsoft Edge. Now I can simply say VS Code Download. As you can see, the mostly the first link take you there. So I can just select the first link since I'm on Windows 11. Um, ARM base so I can choose user install zip CLI or system install since I am using the system I can just you know use it for the all the users I click here and as you can see the download is in progress once it's let it download head over to your downloads folder and then you can just double click so it is going to display the license agreement hit i accept click next um, it is just letting you choose uh, where you want to install in the previous video i saw mostly i want to keep my softwares you know very tidy so i just use the softwares folder here Again, it's my personal preference. Uh, you can choose yours. Um, go and check. Call it as C colon softwares and MS VS code. Click next. It is letting you choose the startup folder. Um, you have a choice if you don't want to create the start menu. So click next. Um, I choose to add to the path so that I don't have to open that environment variables and add it myself. Click next. Click uh, click next. I just want to have a uh, desktop icon. Click next. Click install. And there you go. So now you can choose to launch it. Click finish. There you go. This is your VS Code editor. And it's going to display this interface. Uh, you can maximize if you want. Um, it's letting you to customize few things. It's okay. Um, usually the first thing I do is I I choose to have profiles. I think profiles, you know, lets you uh, have your specific settings, language specific settings to work on various projects. For example, you may be working on Java. So you want to install a set of plugins that works for Java. If you are working with Python, that's the case. You want to create one Python profile. And that way, without bloating the global registry for the extensions, uh, you can choose profile. And those, if upon choosing a profile, the specific extensions or the add-ins will be enabled for that. So it's it will be very super easy, smooth on the system resources as well. So to create a profile, I'm calling as Python. And it lets you choose if any extensions are you want to enable or you want to copy from the other one. It's you can say, hey, I need this from Python. Okay. The moment it shows, automatically the icon also has, has changed. Hit create. It is going to install the extensions here and say hey, yes, trust.
all right now what you can do is um you can you can click here and then you can click here and pick up the profile called python now the python profile will be activated for you you see there's an icon here and usually the way i want to organize my workspaces i usually create a folder here called this workspace and let me create one more folder called learn and then in copy open and say open folder select folder so it's going to open that folder um, you can get some help from copilot also if you want but right now i'm just going to dispose it uh, it is going to ask hey do you trust this since this is my workspace and my project i'll say yes i trust now if you open the extensions it has installed a set of extensions which has curated for python development for example doc string for writing the doc for the python projects there's a dev, dev containers if you are into containers like using dockers and all you can use the development containers um, tomal is for the project configuration um, good you have the github copilot uh, jupiter it's like a ripple like but having a ui and so on so 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 on so forth uh, this is pylance what it does is basically a a language server for python code and this is the python extension itself which provides the intel sense okay um, then let me click on the project um, call it as hello dot pi and you can say print hello world and you can save it there's a there's a play button here you can run this file and then it's going to display uh, the output as you can see this is the output so the other advantage of using python uh, vs code is it can provide you the intel sense you can say you can just type print see and if you open it's going to let you know uh, what parameters this particular method accepts as you can see you can pass a varying number of parameters i'll say python is fun and say and easy with vs code wow. save this and run now it displays python is fun and as you can see uh, it displayed the output and easy with vs code and that's all i got for today's session so stay tuned for next video until then bye now